At the age of 45, my oldest sister, Teresa, passed away from breast cancer. And at her funeral, her husband let us hold a stack of papers and notes that she had written, and some were written about me. What a treasure it is to see my name in her handwriting, to know that some of her final thoughts were about me. But you know what? We have something even greater. In John 17, we hear a final prayer of Jesus, and guess what? He's praying over us, you and me. You know, there are promises all through the Bible, and many of these were given to specific people for specific circumstances. That's why it's important for us to know the context of these promises so we don't misuse them or misrepresent their intent. But imagine my delight to come across this text where he specifically mentions us in verse 20. Listen to this. I am praying not only for these disciples, talking about the 12, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. See, that's us. And this was his message to us, that we would be one in Christ and that we would experience such perfect unity that the world will know two things. One, that God sent Jesus his son into the world. And two, that God loves us just as much as he loves Jesus. Now the words one and unity here are the same Greek word and it's pronounced heis. It means that we are united in spirit and not divided by the world's ethical issues. What a perfect message for the church today. In such a volatile time of stress and disunity, we're called to remain one, unified for one purpose. See, in the family of God, there is no slaver free. We've all been set free by Christ. There's no racism. We're all children of the King. There's no privilege or prejudice because we know how to forgive just as Christ forgave us. So let's stay on message in 2020. Let the world marvel at our example of unity in Christ so they will know that Jesus is the Son of God because verse 3 tells us this is the way to eternal life. Let me close with one of his final desires for us in verse 24. Father, I want these whom you've given me to be with me where I am. Then they can see all the glory you gave me because you loved me even before the world began.